Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another book talk for the Latinx Kidlet blog. I am Dora Guzman, one of the contributors for the blog, and I'm here with... Hi, everyone. I'm Sonia Alejandra Rodriguez, and I'm also a contributor to the Latinx and Kidlet blog. And today we're talking about Just a Minute, a Tricks or Tale and Counting book by illustrated and written by Yuyi Morales. It's a 2004 Pura Belpura Award for illustration, as well as the 2004 Tomas Rivera Mexican American Award. Um, and it definitely is one to check out, not only for its, its story, but obviously the illustrations. Uh, the main characters are Senor Cal uh, Calavera and Grandma Beetle. He comes on uh, her birthday. He shows up at her door on her birthday. And uh, grandma distracts him by counting down to her birthday party. So what do you think, Sonia? I like looking at the, like, the older books because like this video series has given me an opportunity to like look back at some of the older books. And I think as we were getting ready to start, I was like, she's going to die. I didn't know the grandma was going to die. <laughs> right then, <laughs> oh, hello. Senor Calavera is there to visit an older woman on her birthday to take her. And I was like, oh. It was like I was reading it for the first time and I was like, oh, this is like probably the brilliance, right, of these books and these chosen books for the rest of the that like when you read them or when you read them again, like years later, it's like, oh, reading them for the first time. But I enjoyed that aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I read it um, and I was like, wait, is this intentional? Like, this has to be intentional, right? Because again, I was in the mindset of this is a children's picture book and I was like, and you don't realize it until, I didn't realize it until the end. I mean, obviously, this is, like, I don't know, my obscene, like, read, and I kind of expected it, but the first time, I, at the end, you kind of question yourself. I'm like, wait, this is, this is for real, right? Like, it wasn't just him showing up to a birthday party, um, but there was a lot of playfulness in, in not only the illustrations, but um, just the story itself right? And I mean, that's the point of a trickster tale, right? It's supposed to be funny and um, not only for the reader, but for the story as well. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's, it's tapping into like, um, like these indigenous tales of like the trickster character, right? And, and I think that's what Morales was, was doing with this story about, um, I feel like a lot of like indigenous um, tribes or a lot of like indigenous communities have like these trickster um, icons or trickster like characters and here I think because it had been so long that I had read it I, I just assumed that the Calavera was going to be the trickster that, that the Calavera was going to be the one that was like mm -hmm. playful or up to like some tricks right and it turns out is it's the grandma the grandma who's who's the trickster and I like that <laughs> that twist um for, to that story well, you wouldn't think it, right? I mean, when we think of grandmothers and when we think of abuelitas, even the ones that we read throughout the picture books that we've talked about, you know, they're they're gentle, they're kind. So <laughs> I could totally see it. Yeah, and it's a trickster because, like, she wants to live, right? She wants to to spend another year with her with her grandchildren. Um, and so I thought that was very adorable. Like, it's, I mean, it's given her like this journey, like this this mission, right? She needs to, to trick Senor Calavera into letting her stay just a little bit longer so that she could be with her grandchildren. Yeah, yeah. Throughout, uh, throughout reading it too, as she's getting ready. So it's, they're basically counting down, right? So it's called a counting book because in nice bold like lettering, there's words in English and in Spanish um where you know they're counting down so and they're using they're counting down like how many um uh what are they making and i think one of them is like they yep so one you know she's sweeping the other one is like they're they're filling up siete piñatas um so they're all counting down and they're all, it's all basically for a party um and to me i don't know i thought it was really funny that it almost it made this connection of you know, when you tell your family, like, oh, I'm bored, so they make you do things? That's what it reminded me of. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I should I'm have bored. never, you know, I, I felt the instant regret. <laughs> yes, clean. Help me clean. Help me do this. Help me do that. And it, it, it made, I don't know why it made that connection for me, but it, like, as soon as I started reading it, I felt bad for Senor Calavera. Yeah, fair. 
Man, I'm just trying to do my job. <laughs> what is this? Um, and if we're like, if we're thinking or looking of like the illustrations, I think I feel like anytime we talk about illustrations, I'm just always so impressed at how like emotive the illustrations are just by themselves. And so just the illustrations are just hilarious in and of themselves without like you even knowing like sort of the context or like the story, right? And I think the very first one for me was Señor Calavera just rolling his eyes at Abuelita, just, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. And that was, that was like, no, I just have one more thing or two more things or three more things. And um, being depicted with the eyes rolling, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, okay, well. And then yeah. eventually he's depicted like joining in on these tasks, like you're saying, right? He's he's waiting, and the grandmother's like, okay, well, idle hands, right? So here, do something. Help me with the cooking. Yeah. Help me with the with the candy for the piñatas. Help me set up. And so they put him to work. I thought, yeah, very iconic of like Latinx, probably be a POC households. No idle hands. Yeah. You gotta help. Yeah, never say you're bored, and if you don't want to do anything, just make sure you're not seen. Yeah. <laughs> make sure you hide very well. But yeah, you, you, uh, Gigi Morales uses a lot of acrylics, a lot of mixed media. Um, I mean, she, she's known for her artwork, right? And a lot of her picture books she, she uses, I mean, she's amazing, and that's for lack of a better word. Um, just in, like, even the tones that she's using throughout the the book right there's like softer tones but there's also very playful tones that um that just connect yeah they connect to like it's just that warmth you know you see it all throughout and like those spreads right they're two page spreads so really you're looking all throughout my favorite illustration was i think by far i mean all of them were amazing but just the details <laughs> Just the details in her hair, right? How um, they like look very much like stars. Um, I don't know. Were there any illustrations that stood out to you? Some of your I think I, I was just and I'm probably pointing at like pictures of like Señor Calavera. I am just obsessed with this character. And again, he was <laughs> man. I just have one job, and he's there. Now they they put him to clean, and he's trying to help. And here, like you see. Him trying to take a bite of the candy as he's trying to hold all these, like, all these, um, what are they called, piñatas. Mm -hmm. And and you're right. And even just, like, um, just the little details, right? And I think maybe what I'm focusing on is the, pecu uh, the peculiarness of, of the eyes, right? And so there's one with, like, the grandma's winking because she knows, right, that she's, like, tricking him. There's one where, like, this, like, sly, like, look. Um again because she knows she's tricking Señor Calavera into distracting him into like letting her stay longer and so I really again appreciate like these little details that um, stand alone right without um, the reader needing to understand like the context of the story but my right, body language is, is really coming across clearly in, in this um, book. Yeah. Oh that one. Again. <laughs> You know, Calavera is, is doing oh, the most so right now. So dramatic. So dramatic. doing the most. <laughs> so dramatic. And I think this is what, I mean, I this is why I gravitate towards a lot of picture books, but like picture books like this one here, right? The illustrations do so much where I work with a lot of readers, right, that are still early in their reading development, like bilingual readers. And even though this book is in, in mostly English, it does use English and Spanish at the same time. Right. But I also feel comfortable giving this to my readers who may not be able to read just yet. Right. Or on their journey. And they get a lot right from the illustrations as well. Oh, that one's so adorable. Yeah. 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 And I like that about picture books in particular um, or illustrated books. And, and they're I feel like over the years, like illustrated books have gotten a little bit more complex and the narration in and of itself has gotten lengthier and um, I think oftentimes we're like, well, illustration, illustrated books are also like for, for older children and for adults. And I think it's because oftentimes they get a little bit longer, more complex. Um, but, but I do like something like this where the illustrations um, can stand alone. I used to work for, um, uh, for this like uh, state program where um, I worked with new mothers, like Latina mothers um, on literacy for their children. Um, and um, 
oftentimes they're like, well, if we don't know how to read the books, how are we supposed to read to our children? It's like, well, you just look at the illustrations, right? And you make something up. Or you try to like read, what's, you try to read the illustrations, right? You try to like guess like what's happening or you come up with something new, right? And like, that's something that like Yuyi has done with these illustrations, right? You can look at like an illustration and say, well, a senora is sleeping and there's a calavera there. And then you can come up with, with a whole other story if you wanted to. And so I appreciate that about story it's storytelling right it's storytelling yeah. in its finest you're you're using tools very much like uh the book that we just also talked about in our last video you know you're using tools and you're using um you know things around your home or in your culture to extend stories and tell stories right that's very much part of our latinx community yeah definitely right and and storytelling is this innate right and integral so it's like to who we are and so I think oftentimes we can like let books sort of dictate dictate the kind of stories we can tell or want to tell but I mean you can def definitely just take a book right and reclaim it as your own and if you don't like the story even though this is a hilarious story <laughs> and it's a wonderful story right like and just come up with a new one based on the illustrations or, or change um right the journey for Abuela if you wanted to or right, turn mm -hmm. Señor Calavera into the trickster, I don't know, right, but I think that's what's so yeah. important about the illustrated books, that, like, that potential for additional storytelling. Yeah, yeah, beyond the text, beyond, you know, using it um, in your classroom, or even just on your own, just looking at the, the story itself, like you said, using the, the visuals, and even, like, looking at various perspectives, right, so even thinking on a more, like, the purpose like it's a trickster tale right but then you're looking at you know what's the what's the purpose behind uh you know grandma beetle doing all these actions right um for some parts of the story it also i feel like she was reminding him of like what life was all about mm. because you know like senor calavera is a symbol of you know death and you know moving on um, and that's what typically calaveras, you know, we use them in Day of the Dead, other celebrations, such like that. And like even thinking further, I was like, oh, maybe she's reminding him like, you know, the joys of life, right? Like the beauty of life itself, um, even if it's in like, you know, tasks around home. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, the tricks to tell us have, have, have a purpose, right? And oftentimes it's teach some sort of lesson or have some sort of like moral in it or... Um, to pass on information or knowledge. Um, but here I like that, right, just as you said, right, that, and I totally agree with that, that it's maybe reminding Senor Calavera about life, right, that you can't have death without life, and you can't have life without death. And so, um, even though at the beginning I was like, oh my gosh, this is a story about grandma dying, um, it, it really is like this, like, affirming, like, moment of, like, you can't have one without the other, right, which is probably why life needs to be shared right it needs to be shared with um with your loved ones and even invite a stranger like senior calavera and that'll probably get you another year well he did say at the end right you I'll know be back. this this is a great party and i loved how we put it together but i'll be back for your next birthday and i was like oh <laughs> again that's how that's how i felt at the I end i was like oh same and that could I mean that could be read multiple ways right I thought the same thing and I was like oh snaps is this a threat <laughs> did New York Calavera just threaten grandma beetle right but it's again there's no escaping death right it's, it's part of life and I think it's an important lesson right for children to know uh, and to learn and, and to to deal with um but it's also like this possibility of again there's hope there's another year live life Right, and, and I feel like there would be another moment for uh, Grandma Beetle to like come up with another trickster plan. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, if we know grandmas, <laughs> they'll find something else for you to do. I mean, they were inside the house. Who knows once they got outside? Who knows right. what you come up with? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for speaking to me with about this book. Just a minute, a trickster tale by Yui Morales. And I got the, yeah. the Pura Belpura Award in 2004, right? 2004. 2004. Yeah. For illustration. 
Mm -hmm. So definitely check it out on the uh, description box, click all the links. Um, and thanks again, Dora, for, for doing this video. Bye, everyone. Of course. Bye, everyone.